All right, so Bolo and Fala working on Belong's EG. After the first pass of the track, notice it was missing a little bit, so we actually found out that one of the injectors on cylinder four had failed. So it actually had hurt the head gasket. So we've actually gone and replaced the head gasket, did a leak on everything, made sure everything's cool. So we've gone and replaced that injector, switched the head gasket out and everything, but I thought I'd take a moment to kind of show you guys what all we got going on inside of here so you guys can kind of see. There's Freya gold roller rockers on the inside. And then it has a big old camshaft in there as well. Single lobe, no VTEC. We're just getting it all back together. Um, I know I said earlier that we were taking the plan on taking this car to uh, PG2. The more we look at it, it looks like it might be going here, the streetcar takeover in Tulsa. So we're just kind of getting it ready. We're going to put it back on the dyno and kind of see. Uh, we're suspecting we may make a little bit more power on the dyno with a fourth injector firing if it was the problem, if it was the problem. If not, we're going to see and just make sure it's all cleaned up, ready to go to the race. But yeah, this is some basic race car maintenance stuff. And uh, we should hopefully see it go a little bit faster after everything's said and done. So we're kind of excited to see it, but just doing all the little things and getting her going. Alright guys, so what's going on right now? Doing Blanc's car back on the dyno. Checking after the injectors and stuff like that. We're gonna see if we can eke out a little more power out of the car. Make some modifications, do some testing here and there, and see what we can do. If you guys remember last time this car went on the track, went a 990 at 138 miles an hour, which is really good for the amount of power it made, but we found out that one of the injectors in uh, cylinder four was not firing and actually ended up causing a head gasket failure. So we've actually gone out and replaced the head gasket. We're gonna put it back on the dyno and see if that frees up some power. Um, looks like the car was roughly um, 10 to 20 horsepower down from where it should be, so hopefully we can get the power out of this thing and see what she can do.
All right, so Paula is going to install the shifter plate and adapter plate. So we actually have one from Finishing Lines. Josh Slough cooked it up, he sent it to us on the ASAP, he mailed it out on Monday, and we already have it here. So he can get us to this race. As you guys can see, there has the bottom shift plate down there for the uh, staging brake, and then has the top plate for the actual shifter itself. Includes Lincoln bolts, and then we actually had to fill the hole here because it did have the uh, shifter mounted underneath the car. So Manuel actually welded in the plate to the top, and then welded the nuts into the plate. So we're gonna just tighten down, and then mount the shifter in. Oh yeah, that plate's badass. And so thanks to Josh at Finishing Lines for hooking us up with this plate. If you guys haven't already checked him out, be sure to check him out on Finishing Lines. He's, uh, I think, from Missouri area, so he's kind of local to us, and he comes to all our local races and stuff like that. Not well, not sure. Smoke dope. Boom. Easy peasy. That's our last pull. Oop. The last pull was uh, 405. We're seeing 402 keys on engine speed right now, checking some stuff. Um, but seeing some things going on. Like I said, they inject. This is the difference in the injector spray right here, you guys are seeing. So we're on the same exact everything. The injector's just clean. Right there, 373C, 362. We're seeing about a 10 horsepower difference. That 10 horsepower difference is a big difference. So leave here on the bottom end. We're seeing 13, 12, there's 11 or 9, 11. So we're seeing a big 10 horsepower difference. You can see it kind of tapers up here. Cost you going rich, you just have to take and fuel away. But uh, there's a pretty significant difference between that injector and now that it's actually spraying the right way. We're going to see a pretty substantial power increase. We're going to see what she can do. But like I said, last pull there was about 405 or an engine speed right now. Um, it gets a little bit clunky on the pickup on the higher RPM motors, but yeah, looking good. So we've gone ahead earlier today, Bolo and Kenny, and Alex and Paulo pulled the trans out of Blong's car. Um, so it's popping out a second gear on the dyno. Turns out it was a, a bent shifter uh, rod, you know, the mechanism. Happens really, really occasionally on these dog box motors in the K-Series if it locks out a second or third. Happens all the time, so transmission's rebuilt, ready to go. Getting her ready. Make some more adjustments. And we're gonna see what she can do. Paul's over here working on the all-wheel drive, fixing all the stupid things that I fucked up. Exactly. Oh boy. So he's doing all the rewiring on it and things like that. And then we got David and Lee's car here as well. All motor car. So Manuel is installing carbon fiber fenders, frame to racing carbon fiber doors, carbon fiber front. We're doing the K Tune quick releases as well. And if you guys remember from World Cup Finals, we actually swapped this motor with the one from the Carrot from Four Piston. So we're gonna maybe throw this thing on the dyno and see if it makes a little more power than it did last time. It should. So we're gonna go ahead and see. But yeah. Getting there piece by piece. We got like two days. I don't know how many cars are gonna get done. Probably Blanc's car for sure. Hopefully David's car and maybe this one, but at least try to start this one up and that'd be good enough progress for the week. I'm
Right. So today is Friday. Tomorrow is streetcar takeover. Last night, Manuel went and installed the carbon fiber doors. Got the carbon fiber fenders in here. The only thing I gotta do now, what's left, is do the carbon fiber front, cut the hole for the airbox, and then uh, install the I did it uh, steering column for lightweight stuff, and we have to install the carbon fiber seat. And then we gotta put this car on the dyno. So we got a few things left to do. It's like 11.30 in the morning right now. Um, we're just getting suspension ready for the alignment. So we're gonna have to roll it out there, get the alignment done on it, and then swing back right around to it and uh, knock everything out here tonight because tomorrow is the event. The Long's car is down there and ready. So she's ready to rock whenever uh, we get to the event tomorrow, but it's down there ready to go. But yeah, so we're getting close, getting there. Right now, I mean, the car is run ready. We just gotta get the alignment. That way, it's like worst case scenario, we can run it um, this way. But yeah, we're trying to get everything done, knocked out from so they can take it back to Minnesota and uh, do what they want to do. So if you guys remember at World Cup Finals back in uh, October, November of last year, this car scaled in about 200 pounds overweight. That's why we're going through all this stuff. So the, the carbon doors is going to drop in between about 50 to 70 pounds, give or take. He switched the rear trailing arms from the stock ones to the FCS rear trailing arms back here, you guys can see. Um, that drops actually a pretty significant amount of weight. That's, that's over 40 pounds. Um, we switched the hatch out. So we got the hatch switch with the Jerry Built fiberglass rear hatch. That's that's a pretty significant weight gain, weight drop. We're gonna switch the Kirky aluminum seat to a carbon fiber seat. The front end change. Is, the front end change is a pretty significant difference. So we're just trying every single pound that we can out of this car to get it as light as possible to get it down to where it should be in the class spec. Class spec on these cars is 1,800 pounds, and last time this car weighed I think 2,000 pounds with driver. So um, we're trying to get it down there. Um, we've done quite a few mods. I know for sure it's probably gonna see. Uh, maybe 1850, 1900, and that's going to be enough to get down. The fastest pass this car has made was a 1003 at 139 miles an hour. So that was the mile an hour to get there. And that 1003 was, was uh, like a 165, 60 foot. It was spinning really bad. Um, so that was a nine second pass, but we just want to get this car into the nines um, and get it going quick. This motor, to recap for you guys, if you don't remember, is a Super 99 four piston engine. Super 99 means that it uses the stock TSX crank that is a 99 millimeter stroke. Whereas Alex's car, the Bolo's car, is a 106 millimeter, so it has a custom yeah, built crank. This is an OEM crank that you can find out of a TSX, custom rods and pistons, all that stuff. So this is a Super 99 engine. This is considered the budget all motor engine. Um, these ones, whereas Bolo's car and Alex's car make over 400 horsepower, you'll see maybe 390 to 405 in that range. Alex's car over there and under the cover makes 445 horsepower. It's about a 50 horsepower difference. That's why it has a 200 pound weight penalty. Um, when you're running a bigger stroke engine, so that was a little bit of education for you guys that don't know the all-motor stuff. Sorry, Bobo. There's a little all-motor stuff so you guys can see, but yeah, this is the baddest of the bad everything, lightweight everything. But yeah, with the, with the 99 car, you need to drop the car's weight down a lot, and that's what we're gonna do. We don't even have weight added to the front, which we need. Um, there's a bunch of things we need to do, but we have to drop the car down below weight so we can add weight back into it into the front to create the proper ballast for 60 foots and launching all that stuff. Because an all-motor car. All of it's in the 60 foot, all of it's in the short track. The top end, you're not going to see a lot of difference. It's just going to be all in the, the 6 foot and 330. So, so what's not doing is getting down. And our track obviously isn't as prep as well as Maryland and things like that. So uh, we're going to be a little bit of disadvantage, but we're going to give her a shot anyway.
All right, guys, so we just ended up finishing up the ride height adjustment. So we're going to take this car to alignment and get it all ready. And together with the Complete Auto Repair Services, our local alignment shop here, they've done everything for us. So we're going to get this car all lined up and bring it back. Finish fitting the front bumper, install the steering column, and uh, then get her all tuned and ready to go. Alright guys, so we're here at Complete Automotive Repair Services. We're going to drop off Lee and David's car and let them set up the alignment for the car. Justin and Cliff and John over there help us out a lot with a lot of stuff. And we can always call them and then get something done on the same day. As much as we bug them, they always help us out. So we're really appreciative. We're going to go ahead and get this, they're going to go ahead and get this car aligned for us and then give us a call once already. We're going to pick it back up and then finish up all the other stuff. These are my old wheels. Still Kenny. Yeah. To be fresh inside. Oh, oh boy. shit! <laughs> no boy, keeping it clean. So we drop this thing off, let them take care of it, and give us a call. We'll come pick it back up. All right, cool. We'll get done. All right, man. Okay, nope. appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so Let's we go. Vamos para donde vamos, papá. Vamos a ver dónde vamos. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. You guys, so it is like I think nine o'clock here at night. Yeah. What's that? Wait till he comes back in. Wait till he comes back. Oh, he's gonna come back around. Yeah, yeah, do it again. Oh boy. All right, sorry, it's ready right now. You're good. All right, guys, it's like 10 p.m. Manuel's over here doing the whole bumper thing. I can't see because they're shining a light. At oh shit. Oh shit. Got the pizza. Casey bought the pizza. Going. Going. Sponsored by Little Caesars. What's up? Oh boy. Who's over there doing that? And then walk over here real quick. Let's see. We just got Blanc's car off the dyno. One's over here fitting. Fiberglass bumper, getting the all stuff in there. Hey, we ready. You ready? We still got a lot of work. How does it look so far? Looks good. Got the whole carbon front on there. Just finishing it up. Still got to do the, the, uh, the velocity stack. And I think we'll be done. We have to do like a car. There's a carbon seat and everything, but I think we're going to stick this velocity stack tonight and then get the rest of it done, get on the dyno tonight, and then get ready for the race tomorrow, but he's looking good. Yep. I'm gonna open up, let me see that side over here real quick. There's a bunch of cool one in there.
again to our listeners, it's Tori Spelling. Do you have photos just trapped on your phone? I get thousands until I learn. All right guys, so it is about 1 a.m. in the morning and this car is ready to finally dyno. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this car dynoed up. It is like I said, 1 a.m. in the morning. And uh, yeah, so it's finally ready. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started and then we're gonna knock it out. Horsepower 229 wheel torque on a four piston super 99. So, 
This is a very, very healthy 99 millimeter stroke engine. Super excited to see that result. This thing's gonna fly. So that'll do it for today. It was a long two, three, whole week of work on the all-wheel drive, the all-motor cars and everything. To recap what's going on right now, um, we dynoed Blanc's car, made 407, I think. We dynoed this car, made 411 wheel horsepower. And then we got great progress in the all-wheel drive car, guys. It's looking really good for a Super 99. This thing is, once we get the weight down, it's going to fly. We did a bunch of things to this car. So we replaced the rear hatch with a fiberglass really thin hatch. Replace the doors with the carbon oh, fiber right. doors. Replace the front with the carbon fiber front. No. Install the I did it steering panel. All right, I did it steering rack and everything like that. This thing's gonna be crazy. So we got everything going there. We're gonna go out to the track tomorrow. And hopefully, lay down a good pass. We'll have to see it. Um, but the power of the weight, this thing is going to fly. So hopefully, we can finally get that nine-second pass on this car. But I want to thank you guys for watching this. We'll see you guys later. And uh, later. to do this you have to do that on that it sucks i'm making it work like yes there is superior ecus i'm making it work that's all i gotta say my team i'm freaking exhausted last night alone was 20 hours straight paid off we didn't even scale it and i said if it weighs around 1875 with the horsepower we made it'll run 97 140 we did it Boom. math math